Most of the time when you're recovering from Lyme disease, you'll see steady improvement over time until eventually you'll have more good days than bad days. But sometimes we have a relapse of symptoms where all of a sudden, seemingly out of nowhere, boom, the symptoms hit us again and we have to fight back again. And it feels like we're just thrown right back into the throes of Lyme disease. But why would that happen? Why does Lyme disease leave and then come back again? Well, here's 11 reasons that commonly happen to people with Lyme disease that cause it to leave and come back again. The first reason Lyme disease relapses is that it's not actually a relapse, it's a Herxheimer reaction because you've increased an antimicrobial like an herb or an antibiotic. And so when you do that, you'll have a bigger Lyme microbe die off and then sometimes we just can't detox all that out of us and it releases all these toxins into the system causes us to have a Herxheimer reaction where we can get some really bad symptoms because it's actually working. So it's actually a good sign sometimes to get a Herxheimer reaction, but it might feel like you're relapsing into Lyme disease because you've increased your dosage of an herb or an antibiotic. The second reason Lyme disease can relapse is if you decrease taking antimicrobials. So if you're taking herbs right now, and then all of a sudden you just stop taking herbs, you could see a relapse in symptoms. Or if you're taking uh, antibiotics and then you just stop randomly out of nowhere, you could see a relapse of symptoms. Now, personally, when I was taking herbs, I took them for 12 months and I still actually take herbs to this day. And it's been six years since I've had Lyme disease. I never had a relapse of symptoms because I maintained my immune system and I continued to get healthier and healthier over time. Now, if you need herbs in order to fight back against Lyme disease, you can go to LymeDiseaseWars.com and get a Lyme Wars herb box sent to your house every single month so that you don't have to think about herbs ever again, but you'll be getting your herbs sent to your house every month and you'll be able to take them over a long period of time so that you don't have to continue shopping and looking for the highest quality herbs and looking for the best deals and looking for, you know, the good prices. We'll give you a great price, less than $2 per day, and you can get this shipped to your house on autopilot. Highest quality herbs, they're actually sourced from really great companies right here in the United States who source it from out of the country if they need to, but most of it comes from right here in the US of A. So if you're interested, go to LymeDiseaseWars.com. You can get your Lyme Wars herb box sent right to your house. Don't have to think about herbs ever again. And that way you can take them over a long period of time because if you stop them randomly in the middle of taking herbs, if you just stop cold turkey, you might see your Lyme disease relapse. And that's the second reason why it would relapse. The third reason you could see Lyme disease relapse would be if you had exposure to mold. So maybe you went into a basement where there's mold on the ceiling, or maybe you went into a building where there's mold somewhere in the building, or maybe you were just exposed to mold for a short period of time or a long period of time. If you breathe those mold spores in, it can cause a very funky, immune system reaction that can cause systemic inflammation that can ex exacerbate everything and allow Lyme disease to come back harder, stronger, and faster. And there's something really interesting between Lyme disease and mold. It seems to be quite common that you'll have an infection with both of these things at the same time. So if you have exposure to mold, that can cause a relapse in Lyme disease. The fourth reason Lyme disease can relapse is if you're dealing with another infection such as a virus. So for example, if you got coronavirus randomly in the middle of fighting back against Lyme disease, this can cause Lyme to come back. So even if you're doing really, really well and crushing Lyme disease, all of a sudden you get sick, your immune system's compromised and everything can slide back down that hill. This is another great reason to continue taking your herbs can, because it continues to increase your immune system and really just fortify everything and make sure that you stay healthy for a long period of time. The fifth reason Lyme disease can relapse is if you go through some significant emotional stress in your life. For example, if you got laid off or if you got divorced or some, some other tragic thing happens like a death in the family, or some kind of natural disaster, if something crazy happens that causes you extreme emotional stress, this can really, you know, basically dampen the immune system and cause Lyme disease to come back stronger. So that's the fifth thing that can cause a, a relapse to happen. And personally, I didn't see my Lyme disease symptoms until I had a ton of emotional stress in my life. And that's when Lyme disease piled on top because oftentimes that's what hurts our immune system enough to let the microbes 
get their edge, get their advantage in the fight against our immune system. The sixth reason Lyme disease can relapse is if you fall off your healthy diet, especially if you just start eating sugar or alcohol and you cause a ton of systemic inflammation and you cause all the symptoms to kind of resurface and come back from Lyme disease because you just slipped on that diet. Maybe you, you know, had someone's birthday, you had a piece of cake one day, and it won't be just that one day when you have that one piece of cake, but then the next day you have a sweet tooth again because, you know, as you know, when you eat sugar, the more sugar you want. So the next day you'll want sugar again, and the next day, so then maybe all of a sudden you go two weeks eating sugar every single day, then all of a sudden before you know it, you've relapsed into Lyme disease, your Lyme microbes are able to get a hold again, and able to fight back against the immune system and start winning, and that's when problems start to happen. The seventh reason why Lyme disease can relapse would be if you were given steroids for any reason. For example, if you're fighting back against asthma or if you're fighting off poison ivy, those are two common reasons why people take steroids. But steroids cause the immune system to actually, you know, lower and downgrade a bit. It actually reduces inflammation, but when the immune system is downgraded in that way, it can cause the Lyme microbes to kind of fight back and start gaining a foothold again and start getting that traction where you can start to see negative results. You can start to relapse back into Lyme disease, start seeing those terrible Lyme disease symptoms that you've worked so hard to get away from. The next one is if you experience physical trauma, uh, particularly like a bump to the head or a concussion. If you, you know, got beat up in the parking lot, that can actually lead to your Lyme disease symptoms coming back because all of the blood will and, and your immune system cells will rush to the area to try and, you know, fix the problem that's at hand, in this case, an injury to the head. And it will basically take its eye off the ball of Lyme disease, which will allow Lyme disease to then, again, rebuild, repair, and gain a foothold. See, Lyme disease are very interesting micro because it can break down into tiny little fragments and then basically rebuild itself over time and then start causing problems again. They also know how to insist. They can create biofilms. There's all these other types of ways that Lyme disease knows how to survive. But even if you're breaking them down and you're winning the battle and they, they're transforming these really small pieces, they can actually grow back into full length spirochetes again, which will then start harming your body again. So that's another way you could relapse. If you get some kind of crazy head injury, like a concussion, like maybe you fall down while you're snowboarding or you get beat up in the parking lot or you know you crash or, or you just slip and fall in the shower. See many different things that can happen that cause a head injury and then all of a sudden you've relapsed into Lyme disease. The next reason you could relapse with Lyme disease is kind of obvious, but if you got another tick bite and you got a brand new infection with Lyme disease, obviously this can cause a relapse as Lyme microbes and most likely co-infections are released into your bloodstream and your body's going through the same fight that it has before, but now it's a brand new infection. The 10th reason why Lyme disease can relapse is if you go to a high altitude location where the oxygen pressure is decreased. See, high oxygen environments are particularly good for fighting back against Lyme disease because they thrive in an, in an environment that has lower oxygen. So if you go to a place with lower oxygen, such as, you know, just for example, let's say you go to Colorado for a month when you've been living at sea level the whole time, you might see a relapse in Lyme disease, which is unfortunate. And another example would be long distance air travel where, you know, you're flying in a tube tens of thousands of feet above the earth. Uh, the, the oxygen pressure is much lower. And if you go for, let's say like a 12 hour trip or something, you go really far in an airplane, it can actually cause you to relapse from Lyme disease as you're you know, exposed to those really high altitudes for a long period of time. And finally, number 11 would be if you had a vaccine that caused systemic inflammation. Now, this isn't always going to happen, but it is likely that if you're going to inject yourself with a virus or with uh, some kind of disease, well, that's what a vaccine is, then your body will have a, a reaction to try and fight back against that new thing that came in. And it can take its eye off the ball. It can cause systemic inflammation and it can cause your Lyme disease symptoms to flare up and relapse as well. So that's 11 reasons why Lyme disease symptoms can relapse. 
And if you need to fight back against Lyme disease, we recommend taking the long-term approach. When your body is operating at its peak performance with a healthy immune system, fighting back against everything for a year, two years, right? You're just increasing the chances that you're be, you'll be able to fight back against Lyme microbes and win. The more stress your immune system and your emotions and, and the more stress that you're constantly under, the more the Lyme microbes get to take a hold and the more chance that you'll have systemic inflammation and all of the things I just mentioned are basically around the idea of stress, whether it's emotional stress or physical stress, you know, emotional stress being like, you know, I went through a divorce or I lost my job or I lost my house or whatever the crazy thing is that happened to you. The uh, physical stress being I got beat up in the parking lot or I got a vaccine or I got uh, the flu or I got some kind of virus, right? All of these things are just dampening the immune system. They're causing our immune system to fight back other things besides the Lyme microbes and that's what causes the issue. So if we're able to build up our immune system over time and only get stronger and stronger and stronger and better and better health, then the only thing that can happen is we get healthier and healthier and we beat back Lyme disease so that we can take back our body and feel like ourselves again. In my opinion, the best way to do that is to consistently take herbs for a long period of time. And the easiest way to do that is to get the Lyme Wars herb box sent directly to your house every single month. You can get it today at LymeDiseaseWars.com. We will be increasing the price soon, not today, but very soon. So you want to get in there now while well, it's the early bird price, the lowest price it'll be. It's less than $2 a day for you to get your herbs sent directly to your house. So you don't even have to shop for high quality herbs or try to find the best prices or take your time browsing through Amazon or going to a health food store where there's thousands of options to choose from. Just get the herbs that work, the high quality herbs sourced right here in the USA that are sent directly to your door every single month. And all you have to do is wake up in the morning, take your herbs and start to feel better. Start to take back your body feel like yourself again so that you can show up in your life, in your career, in your love life, in your family life as the best possible version of you. Can't wait to see you there and I'll talk to you next time.